morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. So, a lot of possible approaches. Okay, one chance. You cannot replay, you only get one chance. One death. If you die, it's game over one window. You have limited time to complete it. So yeah, that's the tricky thing about elusive targets. We only get one shot at this. We cannot die during it. If we die, we lose. And once we kill him, we cannot reset anymore. I believe up until that point, you are allowed to reset. So we're going to have to think about how we want to do this. And what I definitely want is my lockpick. There's going to be a lot of locked doors and having a lockpick is always great. I think I'll bring coins as well. It's tempted to bring like a lethal syringe, but we can pick one up in the medic facility if we need that. I don't see myself needing a gun, but you know, we, we might as well bring one anyway. And then we can also smuggle something in. But first of all, let's let's see. Oh, oh, we're not allowed to use our other starting locations. That's interesting. I thought we would have other starting locations available to us, but we don't. We can choose how we want to be dressed up for this. So we could go full cowboy, but uh, we'll, we'll leave with the Florida fit for now. Okay. Um, well, in that case... I don't want to really use... Uh, most of these don't really help me. I think I'll pick the lethal syringe because I could see myself using that potentially. And I, I'm not sure. Maybe we aren't allowed to actually um, reset. Let's see. Okay, so completing elusive targets and silent assassin. That's going to be our job. All right, so you must begin before the countdown expires, which we'll do. If you die, you may not retry the contract. Once you have completed it and successfully exited, you may not retry. Once you've begun to complete objectives, you may no longer restart. You cannot save while playing an elusive target, and the contract brewing may contain additional fail conditions. Oh, does it? I don't think it does this time. So yeah, we can reset. But once we've killed him, we're not allowed to reset anymore. And if we die, obviously we can't reset. And we can't make saves in between to retry things. So yeah, this uh, this might be tough. We'll see. It didn't really do that many of the elusive targets percent. in the first game. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. All right. Dave, ready. 
Our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Okay, he won't wait around for long. So that's one way in. Um, I gotta keep in mind that I should have a good outfit on if I want to actually go in there. Because else they're not going to let me pass security. Um, so i got to keep that in mind. Okay, yeah, that, that's where our guy is. Hurry up, buddy. We're running real late here, all right? Um, ooh, you're in there now. I remember that always being empty. So that's a bit of a shame because I think there's a an outfit in there that we Next could put on. But if you're gonna be in there, that's gonna be a problem. Um, can I count on you to stand there? See, now he's gonna move. Hey, bro. Where is he gonna go? There we go. Now we have an outfit on and uh, we can talk. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. That outfit looks appropriate. Now let's go. They're expecting The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. That's upstairs. All right. So we'll use him to get in. Uh, we could probably also walk in ourselves, but we'll see how this goes initially. Ooh. This guy's with me. Dude, amazing job on Sierra's car. So, th this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Stop. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know? Buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could've used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. All right. This is all you're gonna do. Ah, oh, there you are. I expected something different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisitions Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. You see anything weird, report to you us immediately. Book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, right, he has coffee that we could potentially poison. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us think up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. Okay, he definitely drinks all the right. coffee. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. 
but the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Zukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. Hmm. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You. Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Oh, God. Uh, You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Hmm. Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough, but there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? Hmm. Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. That's interesting. I, I love think I that need to he stretch asked my you. legs for a few. Keep at it. That's actually really funny that he suggests ways that you could kill him. And he's basically implying poisoning this glass isn't going to do enough. The kitchen knife isn't going to be enough either. Hey, uh, just shoot the I guy. I seriously love your work on those Kronstadt cars. No. Very cool, sir. Dave has got to turn everything into mm. a damn magic trick. Stop on the smoke. That's the balcony. All right. Why the hell do you want to fall the top of the building? Zuko isn't even going to. Now, where did he go, though? Should have stayed with him. That wasn't the uh, smartest move. I can pick up a screwdriver at least so I have a lethal weapon. And we'll pick up this pass so we can uh, get through some doors a bit better. Okay, there we go. Where is he? Is he in here? Oh, that's Robert hey, Knox. We don't right care about him right now. Let's peep. Who's in there? Nah, just those professors. That doesn't really matter to us. And not as scary as Faye, but... But you've got this. Just tell him to dial it down a little. Even 20%. Or 30 Hmm. I'm not sure where he left to, to be honest. We can't really climb up that because there's guards out here right now. Normally that's something I would consider. Have a nice day. I'm not allowed to be here. Okay. And I guess I'm not allowed to go further up either, am I? Nope. Okay, well, I have rat poison, so... <laughs> Right now, I have what I need to poison his coffee, but... He has said that wouldn't work. Hmm. 
The main problem is if we try this, we will get spotted immediately. There's too many people in here. I think that's the big issue. I don't know where he went. I need to try and find him again. I don't want to get spotted by you either. Um, right in here it's just that lady that doesn't really help us. Okay. Just play along, Dave. It's just another sale. Sure, it's unnecessarily complicated. Foolish, even, but well. Hmm. Okay, we need to get a security outfit on, I think, so that we can. Um, so that we have a bit more movement around the facility or the location. Let's see, um, Okay, what I can do is grab this wrench. Um, yeah, I can cause distraction, lure a scientist out. And then we can take that. That will give us a bit more movement than the engineer. Gonna make sure we don't get spotted by anyone from there. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so this goes to that, and that goes to this. Item activated. Okay, and drag you. I don't want you to fall down. And since the fuse box is now on, no one else should come investigate. We have a better disguise now. No one should come over there. At least I don't believe anyone will. Can I just drop? Right, that's Robert Knox, but I don't really care about Robert Knox. At least now I'm allowed to go up on this stage um i guess one thing i can do is come over here to destroy the camera evidence i will probably wait for you to go outside and i also need to find my target again there's a gun there. I don't really want that. Hmm. Okay, he's leaving. Let's close the door and destroy the evidence. Boom. Okay. So now we won't get caught on camera for anything. Which should help, maybe. No, that's just Robert Knox. You let me know if there's anything out of the ordinary. Got it. And that's just a random guard. Scientist.
Loyalty has its merits, Antoine, but one cannot express loyalty from the grave. What Kronstadt is working on is too important to risk in some high stakes chess game. Love the lab. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I'm not sure where he went. I gotta try to find him again. Or is he back in the meeting? Hi there. Oh, it, I think he's just leaving now. Okay. It's me. Any news on a special guest yet? Davenport and Swap. I'm not much for reruns, Alice. The bow is amusing, I suppose, but the poisoning isn't something I'd like to try again. Besides, they wouldn't send the same people twice. Well, I sent the ICA an invite. Seeing as most of their top tier agents have failed, they're bound to send him. If he even exists, you know? I'm beginning to wonder. Hmm. So he knows sure. where you're coming from. We've all heard the stories. But that's all they've ever been. Science is the poetry I hope he's of real. reality. And I hope he shows. I should very much like to meet him. Then we've had a good run. If I go by anyone's hand, I want it to belong to the best in the business. Simple as that. Good. Good, I'll see you later, Alice. So you can definitely snipe from up there into his head while he's standing by this window. Oh, Mr. Faber, back already? He's in here, but only for a second. And there's violent. two guards following him at every second. Perhaps if we dilute the ink inside the pen with VX poison or something along those lines. Okay, so yeah, you can kill something him with that the made pen. Something victim experience extreme pain or undergo violent seizures, perhaps. It would need to look good on camera. But that would essentially require us to. Here oh, somehow splicing the boron nitrate nanotubes with some sort of volatile compound. <laughs> yeah, the boys over at Advanced Composites would love that. No, no, but uh, the patent process would probably mean we could I wonder what's in that cabinet. Yeah, there's nothing interesting in here. Ooh. The octane booster? Why is that in there? It's interesting. We can scan pictures now. So if we find a picture well, of somehow him. Somehow added a solidifying agent to this retarder to keep it from drying out if painted on the walls. We could set the entire room ablaze in green or purple fire. Make the headlines. We did some experiments with foaming compounds, actually, to, to try to see if, if we could somehow use the active elements in the octane booster for things other than fuel. It turns out it's very promising, but further work I is needed. Okay, I think I've seen enough for now. Need to think for a while. I'll be back later. Hmm. If I want to deal with this room, there's like two scientists I need to knock out, that guy, and then the two guards that are pretty much always with him. Robert Those Knox. definitely need to, to die. Keep a tight ship. Guards everywhere, eh? You're an important man, Mr. Faber. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Oh, no chance of that, my friend. Didn't you know? I'm unkillable. Buddy boy. <laughs> Prick. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to get rid of those two guys following him somehow, regardless of what we do. Didn't anyone air out in here while I was away? Never mind, let's get back to it. All right, so we know Zukov's planning on revealing his rag of lies to the world in New York next week. I paid off a call girl he frequents, and she let it slip where the bad hey, boys could perform his evil deed. <laughs> that guy can't keep his trap shut about it. 
feel like that's probably our best bet though in, in, in that room that we were in. Target dummies. It's not this room, it's the other. Yeah, this one. I can close that door to keep you out. There's a lot of guns here. I guess I can grab this. Also, I guess follow alerts are on, but just notification sounds. So I didn't even see who followed. Um, but thank you. I I should probably actually either have my follow alerts on properly, but I'll I'll figure it out another time. Um. Okay. So I can hide someone in here. Yeah, okay, he's definitely with his two guards, so I'm gonna have to take his guards out as well. a character works for. It might be easy. I mean, it's got to be some sort of foreign national agency. To get to the kill. Langley boys aren't this pretty different. different. I could pry the skies as you, couldn't I? I think that's what I want to do is start to clear out this room and kill him here. Oh, hey, a duck neck. Welcome to the stream and thank you for following. Okay. Which makes you very useful. Mr. Knox is betting the future of his company on Palace here. I've yeah. only worked on the project yeah, for I think six that's months, the but best the concepts for weaponization way to approach this. Promising. A small army of would be I mean, able that's to devastate any opposition those two researchers particularly in urban warfare but we can potentially drag them into that room and hide them there without much issue heck I could mm, yeah the octane booster itself isn't really the main attraction here it's the Knox compound. And he seems to just go between this and the meeting room. But that meeting room has way too many people. I definitely think this is our better However, it so effectively rivals ethanol, ferrocene, and MMT. We expect to launch it worldwide very soon. And I really think I can dress up as that guy. Because he looks... He's bald and wears an outfit similar to ours. I'll see you later. Okay, yeah, he's gonna go to the briefing room. His two guard cronies are gonna follow him, which we still need to take out at some point if we wanna do this. Wait, where are you going now? Uh, bathroom, but... There's nowhere we can hide your body. If someone else were to go into that bathroom, we would be in trouble. Well, pardon me. I'm not sure if no one will go in there. Don't really want to risk that. I could get him killed, of course, with the android, but I don't need him dead. Ooh, that just went through that guard. I need him to go back into his room. 
No, there's no one here. Oh, that's opening that door. Okay. Exploding pants. Ah, ridiculous. The practical. Okay. Drop you in here. And disguise as you. Boom. Okay. So that's that's a good start. Now we just need to get rid of his guard cronies. And I think just for good measure, I will put you Oh yeah, here we go. There's a closet I can dump you. That's another one out of the way. Wait, what can we pick up? Ooh, metal cabinet key. Now I can see what's in that little cabinet. Without having to lockpick it. Bag of gunpowder. Bomb detonation. Interesting. I don't know for what bomb that is. That's very interesting. Okay, there's only one scientist in here. Hello there, sir. And then there's the both of you, but we wouldn't be able to knock them out in time. Okay, if one of you leaves, but the other one doesn't yet. Oh. And we get you taken out. That's one of his guards. Now that means I basically need to take you out and get rid of this scientist dude. And then we're probably free to kill you with this pen, which will be a really cool looking one. I think. Creative thinking, Mr. Faber. I see how you've managed to get where you are today. How is something like this going to kill anyone? It's surprisingly simple to kill a person with something like that. You need to step back a few steps, sir. All right, sorry for standing too close to you. So, how would one fit a flamethrower on you? Maybe a small one. Jet of fire from the mouth. Ooh, that would a few be more iterations of design, and you and I might be best friends, Mr. Robo. I wonder what hooking up a truckload of this stuff to a sprinkler system might do. Maybe a neighboring building? A small incendiary device and a timer. Let it burn for a few minutes and then activate the sprinklers. Okay. Just need you to leave now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get rid of the scientist this time and the next time I can take care of him while your back is turned. And again, this is full, right? Yeah, that's oh, full. Yeah, okay. I'll be back later. Okay, yeah, you you also leave. That's fine. And we'll close this. And honestly, I just need to knock you out.
and start dragging you. And go here. Go into this room. I could ditch him in there, but I don't think anyone is actually gonna come up here. Or come in this room, so it should be fine. And I want to hide the actual target's body in there. So if I check here... Oh, I can't unlock this. I have to lockpick it. It's a bit of a surprise. It's fine. There is also this guy, but I think he'll stand outside and it shouldn't hurt us. So we just want to wait now, I think, for um, Mr. Faba to return here. And then we can take him out. Definitely seems it would have been quicker to sneak in there and snipe him. But this should get me the silent assassin, so I think that will work out nicely. I still don't know what you can do with all this booster fuel. It's a bit weird that they have it and the bomb detonator. I don't know where the pump for it even is. Definitely interesting. Okay, he's back now. This time we gotta take out your little guard friend. Question is when? I guess we can do it when you leave this room. Bingo. That's a pen in your eye, and you're dead. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. But just in case, because I don't trust this guy being in such a accessible room. I'm going to drag him in here too with the other unconscious bodies. And then we're happy to leave, I guess. There we go. I think that's bingo. I think we did it. Did you get a silent assassin? Yep. Alright, well that one didn't seem too tricky as far as things go. We did spend half an hour. We could have definitely done that sooner if we didn't like spend a lot of it initially just having fun listening to him and, and walking around seeing 
what kind of pattern he had, but I don't really mind. For these elusive targets, I tend to not really care about getting a good score. Because really, like, it's not really much you can do. You can only get one attempt anyway. Right, so we got an explosive pen now. It's pretty cool. Will explode shortly after being thrown, but sharp enough to kill an impact. Interesting. And we have the Florida fit with gloves. Nice. And the Terminus suit. I think I had that already. Or at least I used to have that. 